Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to spend a few minutes with you talking about the future of work and your role as a leader in that future. Now, here's what I don't know. I don't know exactly what your future of work looks like, but I know for certain that we are at a moment that matters. For your organizations in the choices that you will make, and for you as an individual leader about how you will lead in that new future. So before we get to exactly what your future might be, uh, let's talk about a few things we do know. We know that regardless of whether everyone's working together face to face, everyone's working remotely, or you have some version of hybrid, there's some things that won't have changed. You will still need to get good work done. There will still be outcomes that you need to reach. There will still be things that you want and need to achieve. People will still need to work with others. No one's an island working while they may be working alone. Their work is more than just their own. And so we are still a team. These things won't change regardless of where people physically sit to do their work. That we know for sure. But there's a bunch of things that will have changed. Some of the time, perhaps people will be working in a place called their house. That was a place that wasn't designed for working. It was a place designed for living. Or even if they're working in a coffee shop, it wasn't really designed for work. And if people are working from home part or all of the time, there is greater isolation and perhaps less collaboration. Depending on how you pick your future, depending on how you do your work, we may be able to solve that collaboration issue. But if not everyone's working in the same location all of the time, there are different distractions. If you've been working from home, you know that you've had different distractions than you used to have. And now you might be dealing with some days I have one set of distractions and other days I have a different set of distractions. Whether you're coming to the office, whether you're not, or you're doing some of each, all of your team members will need to rely on technology as much or more than ever in the future. But if your future of work looks different than it's been in some way, hybrid in some way, there are psychological factors that we as leaders must take into account, both for ourselves and for others. The re Here's the reality, that it was hard to work together. It's hard to work remotely and it's even different. If some days we're in one place, in other days we're in others. In some days we have people around us, and other days we don't. And for some people, they may be more worried than others about the contact and the virus and those issues as well. All of these factors will matter. Our emotions will run rampant as we go back into a situation perhaps that we've not been in in a long time. And as we move from one environment to another, our priorities change. Our priorities are always in part set up by what we see around us, what we hear around us, and what we're living in, our environment. So if we're shifting some days in one place, some days in another, our priorities are different. Or even if some of our folks are remote every day and others are in the office every day, the priorities might be different. All of this makes our future of work more complex, regardless of what yours looks like exactly, more complex than it's ever been before. And so, again, I don't know exactly what your hybrid will look like. I believe that the future of work for most people will be hybrid in some way. But exactly where people will work, exactly how often they will work in which place, exactly how it was determined where they will work, I don't know. Maybe you don't know that yet either. And and beyond just the where, but it will also perhaps be the when. There will be more future that looks like people working four tens rather than five days a week. There'll be more people working earlier or later shifts. Even if all of your team is in the same zip code, you might be acting as if you're in three or four different area codes or time zones. And so all of this will complex, will make our work more complex, will make our work as a leader more complex, and will make our role more important than ever. 
So regardless of what your future looks like, regardless of how much of a hybrid or exactly what your hybrid is, our role as a leader will change. And I want to spend the rest of our time giving you a few ideas about how it will change and what you can do as a leader to make it better. What can we do? The most important first thing that we can do as leaders is to set clearer expectations. Now we could argue that clear expectations is a fundamental skill or task of leaders, and I would agree. But in the past, that was mostly, here's what the work is, here's the level of success that is required, here's when it is due, here's the quality level, here's the timeline, and we set expectations, hopefully, about that, about the what. Now, there's a lot of research that says that only about half of employees feel like they're crystal clear on what's expected of them. But as people are working remotely, it's not just going to be about the what, but about the how. If they're remote some of the time or all of the time, if they're remote some days and in the office some days, we're going to have to be clearer about not only what is expected and what the level of uh, um, quality and excellence is, but also how we'll do the work. And the how we do the work will relate to how often we're communicating, what mediums we're using to communicate. It will relate to who people need to collaborate with or communicate with. Are we going to do that on the days we're in the office or not? Are some people in the office and other people not? How are we going to have meetings? All of that needs to be determined. Our job as a leader is to set that or help the team to create those clear agreements, boundaries, and expectations around the what around the how, around when and how often we will communicate, around which tools we will use and when. And let me say this, that as leaders, too often we're focused on people's activity. Well, are people busy? Do they have enough to do? We need to be more focused than ever on what people are accomplishing, not just are they busy, but what are they accomplishing? Productivity is about accomplishment and not activity. So we must make sure we're setting expectations clear in our own minds first and then with our teams around what is needed to be accomplished and how it will be accomplished. And while we've often thought about expectations as being an individual thing, what are my expectations of Jose? What are my expectations of Brenda? We need to set them both individually and as a team. Some of these things will need to be discussed and become clear for the entire team because everything will be different than it was before. And so what are some specific areas that you might set expectations in beyond those basics? Well, the four C's are things you're going to want to be thinking about as you move into your future of work, which likely has some amount of hybrid component. You want to think about how and when will we collaborate? How and when will we connect? Are we making sure that we're working on relationships and trust and not just transacting the business? How and when will we communicate? And will we do more than just transact, but also communicate to learn how people are actually doing and what's going on? And will we talk about more than just the work and the weather? And lastly, what is the culture that we want moving forward? In your organization, you've always had a culture. In your organization, while we've been fully remote, you've had a culture, probably different from the previous one. Both of those matter, but what matters the most is what's the desired culture you have for the future? You've got to make that picture clear. You've got to help people understand that. You've got to help people see it, and you've got to set expectations around it. This is part of our job. Well, is there anything else that we must do? Well, along with setting clear expectations, I, I need you to think about being a role model for your folks. And, and what does that mean in this case? Well, in this case, that means the workplace is changing again. And so we must, as Gandhi said, be the change we want to see in the world. If we want our team members to be doing and exhibiting certain behaviors when they're together in the office and when they're working separately, then we must be leading the way. You are a role model. The only question is, are you modeling what you want them to follow. You must be the changes that you want. You must follow the expectations that you set for others. Now, if we were in a room together, I would ask you this question, is enthusiasm, excuse me, is enthusiasm contagious? And you would say, yes, 100%. 
guess what? So is the opposite. Your attitude through this change, your attitude as you do the work, will be reflected by your team. And your attitude is contagious. Make sure it's the one you want your team to follow. If you want your team to be using certain tools and technologies, make sure you're using them at the right times and in the right ways. And while you don't have to be a guru or an expert, you need to be confident and comfortable in using those tools so that your teams will do the same. Here's the thing. As we move into a new future, which looks different than what we've had, and as we move to something that's likely some variety of hybrid, you want to encourage your team to share what's working for them and to share that with each other. Part of our job now is to role model the learning and to keep people getting better. And you don't need to just get solutions from experts, but from the experts on your team that are doing this work every day. Encourage people to share. Get the ideas from each other. Doing those things will make a big difference. Now, there's a lot more that I could share with you about what the future of work looks like for you as a leader. But if you will keep these two things in mind, that you must set clearer expectations in a variety of ways, and you must be a role model for your team members' work, you set yourself up for a future of work. You set yourself up for a future, for a moment that matters, so that as we transition to whatever your future is, your team can be more successful, more confident, and get better results.